This is The Top, where I interview entrepreneurs who are number one or number two in their industry in terms of revenue or customer base. You'll learn how much revenue they're making, what their marketing funnel looks like, and how many customers they have. I'm now at $20,000 per talk. Five and six million. He is hell-bent on global domination. We just broke our 100,000 unit soul mark. And I'm your host, Nathan Latka. Many of you who I've met in person have seen my unbelievable dashboards that I built. You know, I'm an analytics-like crazy person. I love the data. And I love presenting the data in beautiful dashboards that my team can use on their mobile devices, their phones, and TVs throughout the office. Now, the way I do this without having to hire a big development team is at NathanLacker.com forward slash analytics. It's using a company called Clipfolio, and I'll tell you more later on in the show how I use them. It's NathanLacker.com forward slash analytics. In this episode 636, coming up tomorrow morning, we hear from Clay Mask, the CEO of Infusionsoft. I get into the weeds with Clay, and he gives us the reason Infusionsoft did not IPO, how they passed $100 million in annual crying revenue with $125 million raised, helping 45,000 SMBs with marketing and sales automation. I also ask him if we'll go public. Good morning, everybody. Nathan Latka here. Our guest this morning is Amapreet Calcutt. He is the CEO and co-founder of Froll, an AI, that's artificial intelligence startup that is redefining consumer intelligence. He loves building things, be it product, revenue streams, teams, or organizations. Amapreet, are you ready to take us to the top? Let's go right ahead, Nathan, yeah. Very good. All right, tell us what Froll does. Uh, what's the business do and how do you generate revenue? So Froll uh, provides consumer intelligence. We largely look at public social data, uh, use that to build, um, you know, these uh, insights, knowledge about people, about brands, businesses, markets, and, uh, you know, the customer side. We work a lot with uh, marketing departments, uh, research insights teams. Uh, we also uh, now uh, recently started working uh, with product owners, you know, uh, products that need to be consumer aware. So plugging in consumer awareness in a you know as a service essentially based on what we know about the people. So walk. So, okay. So I don't understand yet what it does. So so give me an example of a customer paying you and tell me exactly how they use you. So uh, take a retailer for example, you know uh, eBay, uh, Flipkart, etc. Our customers. So we we work with a marketing or marketing analytics uh, research team, and they for them uh, understanding that. Consumer is the holy grail, right? For marketing guys, that's so, a so really big thing. So be specific, though. I'm a pre with eBay. So eBay is using you, and and, yeah. and and tell me exactly how they're doing it. Yeah, so, they, uh, so we work, for example, the shipping team at eBay. Um, the shipping insights team you know, works with us. Uh, now, they want to understand uh, how's the experience that consumers have with eBay shipping. Uh, they want to understand how do they compare uh, to their competitors, uh, they want to see how their programs, you know, et cetera, are, are doing. Uh, they want to understand if people care more about faster delivery or cheaper delivery. So there are a lot of questions about the consumer that you can get answered from social data. So we help them get those answers. So you're scraping kind of open social APIs like Facebook, Twitter to kind of do this processing? Not, or? not exactly. Uh, we we have data partnerships with both Twitter and Facebook. So, so we have access to, uh, you know, um, official access to these APIs. So, so no scraping part there at all, but yeah, okay. uh, we get that data. Our algorithms, uh, you know, try to understand that, you know, uh, make deductions and that's what our customers make use of. So if a Twitter mentions on, you know, on Twitter, something like just got my stuffed animal from eBay. I love how fast it shipped. You yeah. might be able to get that data and send it to your, your eBay shipping team to say, Hey, people love fast shipping. We'll get that, absolutely. So we'll get that, goes into our system. You know, we're probably, we're looking at a few attributes, you know, or annotations, as, as our guys would say, you know, we're trying to annotate every conversation, every person in, in, in dozens or uh, dozens and tens of ways. So, yeah, so based on that, uh, I, I get my answers you know, for the questions that I'm looking for. And how do you, so what does eBay pay you? I mean, how do you make money? Just so a subscription business, you know, uh, customers pay us uh, for the insights. So typically they would say, hey, I'm interested in insights about me and, you know, X number of competitors, for example. So we say, OK, and based on that, this is how you pay us on a monthly basis. And uh, that's the business. OK, so it's a subscri monthly subscription, SaaS. It's a monthly subscription. It's a SaaS. Yeah, it's a data. It's a okay. data SaaS. Uh, yeah, absolutely. And what just uh, we'll just talk about it in averages for now. But what's the average customer paying you per month? 
Um, <clears throat> I would say medians are better number. You know, we have a couple of uh, older customers who don't pay as much. Uh, we started around two and a half, three years ago. We have a couple of newer customers. Uh, I think the average, uh, just for facts, you know, comes to around thirty-two thousand dollars per year. Okay, thirty-two thousand um, per year. Yeah, but the the median number would probably be higher. I, I I don't have the exact number, but should be around forty-eight, fifty k. So. Okay. And do yeah. you only sell annual contracts? No, not really. Um, so personally, I don't believe in locking customers in, you know, unless there's a reason, you know, they, if customers get value, they should use us. If they don't get value, then why should they? So normally we have a 30 day walkout clause, you know, if you're not able to give value, you can walk out. Got it. But they, they're paying the, the 12 months up front, the 32 ish thousand up front. Many customers pay quarterly, uh, you know, we, okay. we throw in a small discount if they want to pay annually, but a lot of our customers pay quarterly. Yeah, monthly is, is a little too much of an overhead from invoicing perspective, etc. So quarterly is usually the way we go. Got it. And then t- take us back and give us some more of the history. What year did you launch the business in? Um, <clears throat> so we go back a little while. So we actually started as a, as a B2C news discovery product. And what year? Uh, uh, this was 2012. 2012. Yeah. So then 2014, uh, we, you know, uh, we pivoted to a B2B model. We said, okay, we've got this intelligence, uh, you know, uh, we got to find a way to monetize. So, so as you know, I'm based out of Bangalore. So, you know, things were a little differently back in Bangalore versus the Valley. And uh, yeah, so 2014, we launched the B2B product. Uh, so it's been three years, uh, pretty much. Uh, in fact, Jan 30th was, uh, you know, the three year anniversary for us. And uh, where are you at in terms of team size today? So we're 13 people right now. How many? 13, 13, yeah. All in San Francisco or mix between San Fran and Bangalore? So actually, uh, right now, everybody's in Bangalore. And I split my time between um, San Francisco and Bangalore. So I'm here, in fact, looking for our first uh, San uh, Francisco-based teammate. Maybe you'll so, find them from a listener from, from the show. What, who are you looking for? Sales, product? Uh, sales, absolutely. I'm looking for a sales guy, yeah. All right, there you guys have it. Sales guy, sales gal, whoever it is. I'm, I'm a pre. What's your compensation look like? Is it mostly, is it mostly base or, or commission or what? So we actually, yeah. So base commissions there, but um, idly, idly, I'm looking for a. I would call it almost a co-founder kind of a role, you know. So, so we would very open to a significant chunk of equity uh, if that works well, you know, for the right person. So it's what's a, a significant of chunk? Pay. Like five, ten, fifteen? Well, five to ten percent is significant in my book. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's co-founder level equity, that way I would see it. And have you guys raised capital to date or are you self-funded? We raised a small uh, angel round a couple of years, uh, two and a half years ago now, yeah. So we raised like a 250K and uh, yeah, post that we haven't raised money yet. Okay, so total capital that you've raised is about a quarter of a million. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and where are you at today in terms of uh, how many customers are, are paying you per month? So we have around 18, 17, 18. So yeah, so 15 to 20, you can ballpark call it. Okay. And then um, can I just take 18 times kind of a $32,000 annual contract to assume you guys, I mean, you're pretty healthy. You're doing about 50 grand per month. Yes. Yeah, so a little, a uh, little less than that uh, okay. right now. Uh, so we're doing around 40, 41 in MRR right now. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. So that's, yeah. you know, take 18 times, you know, a little bit less than 2,500 bucks per month from each customer. That's a healthy little business. Very good. Yeah. What are you, where are you, and what about uh, churn? Obviously you pivoted, pivoted in 2014, but what's your gross customer churn per month? So I think that's one thing. I mean, 20, 2015, we actually did quite bad on that, Nathan, if you ask me. But 2016, What's you know, bad? How, how do you know you did bad? So bad was around um, losing around, what? yeah, four customers out of like uh, t- three customers, I think out of 10 or 11 at that point of time. Every month? Uh, no, overall, over the year, over the okay. year. Yeah. So uh, last year, uh, you know, out of some 16-odd customers, we lost two. So, uh, so there you go. I mean, in terms of You're like 15, churn. 15% annual churn. Yeah. But revenue side, I mean, uh, you know, net revenue side, I think we've been, we've been fantastic, you know, with upsells, et cetera. So the, the net revenue churn, uh, is, is, is very healthy. Is but it yeah, negative? Custom- yeah, it definitely is, uh, is, is negative. Yeah. So, um, good thing. That's always a good place yeah. to be. And you have no salespeople. It's just you so far. We've got one sales guy, um, uh, in India right now. Yeah. So me and the sales guy, that's it. Um, two people, one, one and a half people, essentially. That's great. And what's your, uh, what are you paying to acquire new customers? What's your CAC on average? Okay, so I haven't really done the CAC calculation exactly, uh, but because a lot of our, uh, you know, our sales are outbound, so us reaching out, 
you know, uh, most of our customers are mid-market to enterprise. They're not really SMBs. Yep. So I don't have that number. I'm so sorry. You, it's okay. Uh, but, but uh, I mean, it sounds like your biggest cost is the actual salary of the salesperson. Or are you doing any paid marketing per month? A little bit. A little bit. You like, know, maybe a... How much? Maybe a... Five hundred to thousand dollars a month. Okay. Um, yeah, that's about it. Yeah. So largely, yes, you're right. It's the yeah, well, what are you testing though for the five hundred to a grand? What are you putting that in? I think we've tried a couple of things. Like we had a new head of marketing come in uh, last year around April, and uh, so she's she's been experimenting. You know, we've experimented with obviously you know uh, SEM etc. A little bit. You know, I, I think we're recently experimenting with LinkedIn. We run a couple of campaigns with uh, social media publications etc. So, uh, so yeah, so experiments largely, you know, small experiments here and there to see what really works. Which social media publication? Um, which one did we do something with? Um, 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 okay, yeah, I was just reading up, you know, about you. You had something to say on social media examiner, it seems. Maybe it was them. I, I, it was one of the social media. I mean, social media examiners uh, are something uh, similar. And what's the model? Like you sponsored a conference or you sponsored an email list send or what? I think it was, uh, it was maybe an email list send plus a banner ad, something like that. It Got was it. Uh, definitely not a conference sponsorship. Got it. Are, are those working for you or no? I think it worked okay. Um, it worked okay. I, I don't think there's anything that's worked like really, really well yet. I mean, partially I think it's our learning curve uh, as well. Definitely it is. Yep. But yeah, uh, I think it worked okay is, uh, you know, what we have uh, a few probably leads come in, you know, a little bit of awareness, etc. So, so that's, that's where it is right now. What are you, I mean, I imagine, I, I'm just making some assumptions here about salaries in Bangalore, but I imagine if you're doing 40 grand in revenue per month, you guys are cash flow positive, right? Yeah, pretty much like kind of break even, I would say right now. Yeah, but Got you're it. right. Yeah. Yeah, it's just because I've just heard you get amazed. I mean, do you mind me asking on average, what are you paying somebody in Bangalore? Is it way less than the States or about even? No, it's definitely less than States. It's definitely less than States. Like what, so, what would, if I went to Bangalore and hired a developer, a junior developer, what would I pay? See, depending upon what kind of a guy, like do you want a really good guy or a, you know, okay guy, et cetera? I only want I the mean, best, the best. So the best guy would cost you, um, okay, so it'll cost you around, Okay, so let let me take a guy who's probably been doing it for a couple of years. Back end. So, yeah, so a couple of years if you take it, and it should cost you around twenty lakhs plus twenty lakhs plus uh, rupees, and that uh, in dollar terms would be like what uh, thirty thirty thousand dollars or so. Yeah, 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 thirty thirty five thousand dollars. Like I told you guys at the top of this episode, I have amazing data, and you guys know from my interview style, I love data. But what I love more than data is making it actionable via beautiful dashboards that I can view on my phone, on my TVs, in my living room, or even on my laptop as I'm traveling. And the company that I use to create these dashboards, which pulls in data from my Libsyn backend, my Google Analytics backend, Salesforce, and other data sources, is called Clipfolio. You can see an example executive dashboard or my social media command center or my web metrics dashboard at nathanlaka.com forward slash analytics. That's nathanlaka.com forward slash analytics. And you can try it there for free for three months. It's Clipfolio. You can try it free for three months. Everybody else has to pay. So you get it free for three months. Alan's a good friend. He's the CEO of the company. He came on the show. I said, I love your product. Can I feature it? So nathanlaka.com forward slash analytics. Go check it out now. Very cool, Amarpri. You're building a great business. I'm, I'm rooting for you. Let's wrap up here with the famous five. Number one, what's your favorite business book? Uh -huh. <laughs> I would... Um, Come on, this is the easiest question of all. No, I'm not, you, you, not, not very big on business books. I mean, if anything... Don't make one up. If you didn't read one, it's okay. Yeah, so uh, let's... I mean, I, like right now I'm reading the hard... You know, think about hard things. Uh, I, you know, that's when I'm, I kind of caught on the flight. But yeah, I mean, I wouldn't really say I'm really big on business books. Yeah, more, more like uh, inspirational stories. Uh, I think that's bigger in my book. Number two, is there a CEO you're following or studying right now? I like a couple of guys. Um, you know, I like Travis Kalanick, I would say right now. I, I definitely think he's a, he's a great guy. I've uh, been through a lot, you know, and he's a, like he's, what he's doing right now is, is tremendous. So I think that's one first guy that comes to my mind. Number three is their favorite online tool you have, like Acuity Scheduling. 
Um, Ift, maybe. Uh, I think I like Ift a lot. Number four, how many hours of sleep do you get every night? Uh, six. And That's what's, weird. what's your situation? Married, single, do you have kids? I'm married, three and a half year old daughter. So, uh, great Ooh. fun, yeah. You're busy. How old are you? I'm 38 now. All right, last question. Take us back 18 years. What do you wish your 20 year old self knew? <laughs> yeah, back then I just wanted to have fun, man. I, um, yeah. So, back but what's then a lesson most... you would tell him? Um, focus. Uh, focus, prioritize. There you guys have it. Focus and prioritize more from the founder, again, of Fro. We've got Amar Preet with us. Again, they launched back in 2014, or sorry, 2012, pivoted later on in 2014. They have now got a team of 13, basically almost everybody in Bangalore, again, helping you and helping companies with social intelligence. They've got 18 customers, a quarter of a million dollars raised, doing about $41,000 per month with, with net negative revenue churn. Amar Preet, thank you for taking us to the top. Thank you, Nathan. It was a pleasure talking to you. If you enjoyed Amapreet today, go back and listen to Meet Sean Bog yesterday with Rocket Reach. They just killed their lowest margin product, so good lessons there on killing product. And they doubled down on $70 ARPU customers. Their goal is $10 million in 2017 ARR. It would mean the world to me if you guys got any value from this episode, if you would go leave a review on iTunes right now and then subscribe. You know, I hustle like heck to get these episodes out every freaking day for you guys. And trust me, I love it. I would do it with no listeners. But boy, oh boy, it makes my day and it makes my team's day when we see great reviews and get your feedback. So thanks so much. Top Tribe, I love giving away free money. I feel like Oprah giving away cars. And I have something special for you today. How many of you have heard our super sharp guests talk about success they've had with Facebook and Google ads? Well, all of you listening right now, yes, if you're listening, you get $100 in free AdWords. Here's how you get it, okay? Again, thanks for listening. Get the free $100 from Google, right, when you sign up with my website host provider, HostGator. Go sign up now to get your free money, HostGator.com forward slash Nathan. Again, that's HostGator.com forward slash Nathan.